Hey everyone, KB King 77 here from the AC Syndicate team here to do a video reviewing the Paranoid Android Jelly Bean ROM on my uh, Sprint Samsung Galaxy Nexus. This is basically a CM10, CyanogenMod 10 hybrid ROM. I'm very excited to show you guys it as it has some very awesome features. I do have a video showing you how to install this ROM. If you want to check that out, if you have a Sprint Galaxy Nexus, I will link to that video in the description. But let's go ahead and get into it. So right away, after you install it and you reboot it, you'll you'll basically get the feeling of it being basically stock Jelly Bean. Um, as I said, it is CM10 based, so I mean you got your your stock launcher. Um, you have all your nice Jelly Bean features that uh, Jelly Bean lock screen, where you can go to camera, unlock, all that good stuff. You have those Jelly Bean animations that uh, make everything feel very fast, buttery smooth. Uh, you have that new notification bar from Jelly Bean right there. Uh, you can hop straight into settings. You do have some settings out of the ordinary. Uh, you have lock screen settings right here where you can change the security of them. You have screen lock where you can have face unlock, slide pattern, all of the uh, basic ones. You can uh, delay the screen lock. You can have quick unlock as well. Change the background, owner info. You can have weather or calendar on the lock screen. You also have some system settings within the interface, which means you can have some status bar settings where you can show the clock, uh, AM, PM, style, battery status style, where you can have uh, the normal one or percentage. Uh, up at the top, you can have it show just a percentage with the battery, or you can just hide it. So if you don't want that battery there, or you can just have the normal icon, of course. Up to you, whatever your preference is. You got those different preferences, those different options. Signal status, style, brightness control, and show notification count. So uh, a bunch of different status bar settings. You also have notification drawer settings, which I couldn't get to work. Basically, what you should have is maybe some notification options, quick panel options up at the top here. I couldn't get them to work. Some widget buttons there. You can uh, hide scroll bar, hide indicators, but I couldn't get it to work. So I don't know if it's a bug or uh, it just hasn't been implemented yet, but hopefully that will come in the future. Or I'm just doing something wrong. But anyways, uh, you can change your wallpaper font size as well. So those are your two interface settings within these settings. Uh, you have CM10 profile, so you can change the home, night, silent, work. You also have some performance settings. Be careful, proceed with caution when messing with these. Uh, depending on the kernel you're running by default, I believe you can overclock to 1350 megahertz, 1.35 gigahertz. So that's nice. Uh, you just check set on boot and you can change your CPU governor as well. So those are within the ROM itself, memory management uh, and other things. So go to about phone. You will see Android version 4.1.1. It is based off of Jelly Bean. Of course, quickly tap on it. You got that nice uh, Android 4.1 Jelly Bean thing going on. And you can push those Jelly Beans around. Anyways, um, again, you got your CyanogenMod version Paranoid Android, Paranoid Android ROM. And we also had, that's really not the, even the best part. Of course, that would be more of the CM10 features within this ROM, but the best part about this is the different uh, modes that you can basically put your device in. Again, as I said, it has all those, all those nice jelly bean features. Application-wise, it is pre-rooted. You have ROM Manager, play music. You have Apollo, that CM10 signage amount music application, but really nothing else out of the ordinary, basically all stock applications. But you do have Paranoid Android Settings application right there, which is basically basically very cool. So we can go into, oh, not user interface, but configuration, and you will see you have a bunch of different configurations. I'm completely stock right now, I believe. So I just went to stock, and it's basically like a normal device running CM10. Uh, you have phone, which doesn't change too much, um, and then you also have phablet and tablet options. So what I'm going to do is show you the phablet and tablet options. Um, from my experience, I had to reboot after I changed. So you have phablet small and phablet big. Um, I'm going to do small just because uh, I'm going to have everything, I, I like to have it more condensed. But again, you can try them both and have it be big. So it's really up to you what you like. Um, it's, it's basically your options. So, um, and you also have tablet small and tablet big. I'll get to that in a sec. So I'm going to change it to fab phablet small. It'll go ahead and apply, but it won't apply right away. Again, as I said, I always had to reboot. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and hop and do a reboot, and I'll be back once it's rebooted. All right, so my phone is rebooted. You'll see same stock lock screen, but you will notice some pretty major changes. You will see down here, basically our on-screen buttons are much smaller, and up at the top, 
uh, our icons up at the top are much smaller as well. So you will see these icons up here are very tiny. The clock is very small. Again, you can choose the, the bigger option with phablet mode because this is the phablet mode. So you can choose the bigger option if you don't like it being this small. Uh, you pull down the notification bar, you'll see it has basically a more condensed notification panel, nice and small right there. Show those notifications. You can turn on and off screen rotation and go into those settings. So you have that option as well. Again, you have the phablet uh, larger option, which you can choose. But down here, those on-screen buttons are uh, much smaller as well, which gives it the feel of a lot more screen, screen space. Excuse me. So you'll see, I mean, you've got recent running apps being smaller as well. It being so small gives it that feeling of bigger screen space, which it is, which it does have. I mean, if you think about it, uh, it's extended down and extended up. So you definitely have more of that uh, screen space going on. So that would be the phablet small mode. Um, again, we can go into settings and you'll see it's a little bit different. You'll see uh, within those settings, you have basically all your settings down here. When you go into one of them, they show up on the right side here. So I mean about phone, basically it shows up on the right side. So kind of given that more of a tablet feel to it. Again, it's phablet, so phone, tablet, that, that kind of feel, which is very cool. Um, other than that though, let's go ahead and hop back into that application, that Paranoid Android settings application. When we go back into it, we will go into configuration once again. And under configuration, you will see that uh, we have tablet. So we have tablet small, tablet big. Again, I'm gonna try tablet small, show you guys that. Uh, there is a bigger option though if you if you don't like the smaller option. So we can apply tablet small. And as I said, it will most likely need a reboot. So I'm gonna go ahead and reboot my phone once again and I will be back. All right, my Galaxy Nexus has rebooted. Go ahead and unlock it. Up at the top, you will see there is absolutely no uh, status bar to pull down anymore. It is completely tablet style. Uh, you'll see down at the bottom, you have those on-screen buttons, recent running apps, home and back going on. And you down here, you have the clocks, uh, statuses of battery life, signal strength, Wi-Fi 3G, all that good stuff. Tap down in the bottom right, you'll see it brings up basically the time, the date, uh, let's you know other stuff. You have a settings button here. Let me zoom in because it is small. As I said, this is the tablet small option. And when we tap on the settings, it brings it up and you have a bunch more settings. So, I mean, you got airplane mode, Wi-Fi, auto rotate, uh, screen brightness, notifications, and you can go straight into settings. So you can hop open those settings and uh, there you have it. So again, giving that more of a tablet style feel to your device. It's actually really great on the Galaxy Nexus because it gives you more screen room. Of course, it makes your screen uh, bigger, at least your workspace bigger. And with it being bigger, then obviously it just as a bigger screen and we have on-screen buttons so you don't have to deal with these on-screen buttons being extremely large or anything like that recent running apps is on the left side you can swipe those away uh, so overall it's a very cool uh, modification that you can make with this paranoid Android ROM um, as I said I mean you have you can have tablet mode on other phones with capacitive buttons but you have on-screen buttons still with this tablet mode because again, you need to have a status bar somewhere. So uh, it really combines the two, the, the buttons and the status bar all in one with this tablet mode. As I said, there is a bigger one. So if you're not, if your eyes aren't accustomed to seeing such small icons down there, you can definitely use the bigger one, which is great that they give those two options. We can go back into those paranoid Android settings. You can actually customize certain things. So user interface, if you only want to customize certain things, you can set certain default one status bar, system default, user default framework res. Uh, be careful with all that good stuff. I mean, there are preset configurations that I would recommend just messing with as opposed to do going in depth. Unless you know what you're doing, then feel free. Application wise gives you a list of them. You can actually change uh, the, the per app DPI there um, with that. So you can mess with that if certain applications are causing you problems any of that good stuff you can mess with that in there backup and restore you can update the ROM as well uh, so you got backup and restore update I'm not connected to Wi-Fi or anything because my number isn't on my uh, Galaxy Nexus at the moment but I mean overall though gives the screen a little bit bigger of a feel I mean applications opening up running great I mean as I said that stock jelly bean look and feel to it as well because obviously it is jelly bean 4.1.1 also, when notifications come in, they hop in on the right, uh, the bottom right there. If you're in the certain modification, um, how do I take a screenshot? Volume down and power. Take a screenshot. You'll see it's a saving screen screenshot in the bottom right there. 
and there we go. So it says screenshot is saved while actually a notification comes up. So you'll see uh, that it, it went away, that saving screenshot went away. You can pop it up and you'll see the screenshot is captured. You can swipe away that notification. Again, if you get a, a text message, anything like that, you can swipe those away, tap on it, it goes straight into it. But when you actually get a specific screenshot, I mean a specific notification, let's say a text message comes in. Um, for example, this screenshot notification is gonna act as a text message notification. So let's say I take a screenshot, the text message notification will pop up like that. If you tap on it, um, if you, I tapped on the message notification, it would go directly into that message. Um, for it, I believe it sits there for what, three, five seconds, and then it goes away in the background like this where you have to tap, tap the bottom right to go into it. So that's just a, a very cool thing. Um, that you can do so so very nice with those notifications. They look very cool So I mean if you have a Galaxy Nexus, you're definitely gonna want to try out this paranoid Android ROM I don't know of any bugs. It is an alpha state So I mean you might run into a couple bugs, but you really I mean it should just about everything be working Let's go ahead and go into the camera application um, I mean really nothing out of the ordinary with a camera application take pictures got the jelly bean one swipe uh, swipe swipe over and you should be able to view pictures it doesn't look like you can do that in tablet mode because oh there we go so i mean you just have to press on this certain spot as opposed to the status bar so again just continuously take those awesome pictures you got more settings right here i mean you got many different settings to mess with uh with this i mean the the buttons are kind of small in the bottom right here they do seem kind of small but again you have the bigger tablet mode option so no big deal there let's go ahead and hop into a youtube application it's not going to work i just realized that let me go ahead and uh, hop onto wi-fi all right so hopped on the wi-fi let's go back into that youtube application again i mean these are very condensed but you can see so many applications within your recent apps uh, list because of it being so condensed so i mean it's very quick and easy to hop through you got that new uh, YouTube application, so uh, very cool there. I mean, you can browse through all the different stuff if you want to check out different gaming. So hop into that. I mean, um, you got the new, basically Jelly Bean style YouTube application that uh, Google has pushed out. Uh, other than that, though, I mean, that's really about it. Uh, you got that awesome tablet modification. I mean, you can also run your device basically uh, as a just a normal phone on CM10 if you did, if you don't like the certain option I mean so I mean you can switch between them on the fly if for any reason you want it at a certain time and you want to go back to the other one you can go back and forth uh, but other than that though that's really about it you're gonna have to let me know what you think uh, the Gmail application is actually kind of nice too on this side it's basically like the settings I don't really feel like setting up my uh, Gmail account at the moment but when you go into settings uh, you'll see how there's a list of all this good stuff on the left side and then it shows up on the right It's basically the same I can tap on let's say inbox and then it'll go show my inbox on the right side I can scroll through it go into an app go into a message So uh, the Gmail application is great with this tablet modification as well So you're gonna have to let me know what you think what, what do you get what you guys think of this ROM? Uh, I think it's very awesome very cool it gives that screen a nice bigger look to it uh, adds a lot more features So let me know what you think leave a comment be sure to subscribe as well Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Google+. All links will be in the description of the video below. As always, thanks for watching. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up.